And that's crazy how that works though. Because watching her go through that situation was tough because I was like, I remember when she came here and was happy that she got a car. Then two weeks later her car got stolen. And then to be able to see that she got her car back. It reminds you of the same story that I just said before. When David, when the people stole his people, they weren't allowed to touch it. They weren't allowed to bruise it. What was taken from you, God is still protecting even if it's in the wrong hands. To teach you lessons along the way. <clears throat> Sweetheart, the same thing happened to me. You're talking to a dude who had to share his mom's car. You're talking about the preacher. You're talking about the guy who had to catch the bus. You're talking to the guy who had to walk two miles to the bus stop, drive all the way downtown to take the bus transit all the way down to that, that church on the corner of Archdale and then walk all the way down there and then go preach. And then have to look around, hope that the preacher get a ride home. That stuff will hurt your pride, but it has to hurt your pride. Your pride has to die in order for you to survive. Your pride has to die in order for you to progress. And that's why God said, you want the humble road? Because no, he's gonna say, you wanna go the way you wanna go? He said, no, the humble road is always the best road. Right now, I learned so much about myself because just because I'm a preacher don't mean my heart's good. I don't care, I don't care who sits before you. They still are work undone. And God oftentimes said, I'm gonna allow you to go through this not for me to find out what's in you, but for you to see what's inside of you. And now from that turbulent situation, now we become better people. We have more empathy now. Now we have more sympathy. Now we have more care because we know for a fact, man, it's tough down now.